Today, I want to tell you that recreational drugs are a trap. Let's talk about it. going on Closer to God Ministries. Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit filled episode. Today I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We got to give him all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, because he is truly deserving of it. Man, today's message, man, is going to be powerful. It's going to be meaningful. And at the end of this, I hope you guys will share this with somebody that needs to hear it because even though I'm standing up and stepping out and giving you this message for the world to see all across YouTube, you know, everybody is not gonna have, there's probably gonna be more people that go against this message because they don't understand what is happening and they are not aware of the attacks that we're suffering. In doing this, if you think that there's somebody out there that needs to hear this message, I want you to share this message with them so we can get this, you know, this message out there, you know, contrary to what society, what politicians and, you know, the United States says about this, you know, the use of marijuana for recreational purposes. Okay. So when you talk about recreational drugs, today I'm going to give you an outline of why this is a trap. And when I say a trap, what I'm saying is the devil has set a snare, which is another word for a trap amongst the good uses for marijuana for weed because you have people out there that have diseases illnesses uh you know extreme pain to where they can't get up and do normal things that you or me may able to do and with the prescription of using marijuana or with the use of marijuana they're able to gain a quality of life okay and this video is not towards people that use it and have a medical justification, a real medical justification, okay? In saying this, man, when you look at the history of marijuana in this country, there have been a lot of criminal time that has been handed out behind marijuana. Till this day, you know, you can go in one state and it be perfectly recreational. You don't need a license. You can have a certain amount of it and nobody's going to say anything because it's been legalized. And in other states, you have it where marijuana, you have to have a uh, medical prescription license for it. And you have doctors that are not living up to the oath of that you know that they signed up and are abusing their license by just saying just because I walk in there and say hey I'm stressed out you know Monday through Friday once I get off work I'm deserving of a medical marijuana license I want you to realize that amongst the good uses that everything God created on this earth people over time have abused them and this is the devil's snare this is the devil's trap you know when it comes to recreational drugs like marijuana that the devil is gonna devour a lot of people. See, you guys don't understand, maybe because you don't get out there and see this, maybe you've only watched it on a TV, but even though certain things like, you know, like crack, heroin, uh, meth, all this stuff is illegal, you don't understand when I'm down there, you know, in some of these poverty stricken places, helping the homeless, feeding the homeless, that I'm walking by needles on the ground, you know, needles, uh, three feet apart. Sometimes, you know, even my wife, we go down there and we see somebody shooting up right away. And I want you to understand that this is nothing more than a trap to devour people. And as many people that are standing up saying, I'm okay with it just because of the money aspect, the earning potential, you have to understand that anything that God created, if we abuse it, it becomes problematic. So when I'm down there, you know, helping out feeding the homeless, taking them tents, things like this, and I see people shooting up drugs, it has devoured their life. And they're not down there using it for medical purposes, they're using it recreationally. And when you use something that wasn't designed or created by God to be used recreational, 
this is a part of abuse where it becomes habit forming, where you have a problem. As an army recruiter, you don't know how many times, man, that I have sat down with people that are looking for a way out. They're looking for something to build them a foundation that can lead them into other directions. And countless young men and women come into my office to speak with me. You know, they like some of the, the career paths that we have. We got career paths in IT, medical field. You know, you I mean, you name it. Everything out there, we got a, almost a career field in other than like fast food and retail. And I sit down with these people and everything sounds good. They're ready to sign up and join. But then I get to the part of like, okay, uh, when's the last time you smoked weed? And most people that enjoy weed, they have a habit. They may claim, I'm not addicted. Oh, I don't, nobody wants to be, you know, referred to as an addict. But if you have a habit that you can't break, you're addicted. And some of these people smoke weed two, three times a day. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, they can't shake it. I'll follow up with them week after week. You know, hey man, still got this, still got this opportunity for you. And, you know, nothing comes of it. And when you see them six months later and you stop them and say, hey, how things going, man? You in school or you you in trade school? What, what's going on? It's still the same thing, man. I'm still, you know, just hanging around, man, having fun, doing recreational drugs. I want you to understand that when, when, they, when they labeled weed as recreational, the floodgates opened. The floodgates opened because now when I was younger, you know, it was always illegal. And it was even a, a trap back then, you know, for us to even try it because it was something that didn't produce any righteousness. But the floodgates opened when they labeled it as recreational and people are now able to make money off of it. And yet you got people doing it like it's like it's the same thing as eating candy. And on the other side, you got people still getting arrested, still part of the criminal justice system because of it. And today, man, I want to give you some scriptures. I can go on and on about this one, but I want you to understand you can't give people that are lazy. You can't give people that are already unproductive. You know, people that have had their lives stagnated by adversity, you know, circumstances, people that are unhappy and depressed, you can't give them something recreationally and act like it's Skittles. Because what you're gonna end up with is people that are high, happy, and unproductive. It doesn't produce anything righteous. So let's look at this term, recreational. Recreational, the meaning, relating to or denoting activity done for enjoyment when one is not working. What? You want something recreational to do? Take a vacation to an amusement park. Go to a county fair, a carnival. Walk to the store, you know, drive to the store, get you a bag of candy, bag of M&Ms, you know, uh, so a bag of chips, a soda, something recreational. Go to the pool, you know, go play some sports. But when you start talking about drugs and being recreational, this is a problem. So today, you know how I come, man. I got to give you guys scripture, okay? So 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 to 20. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Whom you have from God, you are not your own, for you are brought with a price. So glorify God in your body. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. When you think about how they labeled weed as recreational, these are the same people that would, you know, throw you under the bus and say, you're the scum of the earth for you smoking, consuming, selling, the same thing that was put here by God and had an intended purpose that's actually hel helping people. But as soon as they label it, all of the negativity that once was there goes away from it. And now it's it's a it's a recreational drug. It's a recreational sport. What it is is a recreational trap. You see what I'm saying? And it's coming to seek even more of our youth. And when is the last, when the, like Tesla, let's talk about Tesla, let's talk about Elon Musk. Is Elon Musk a, an addict to recreational drugs and been able to produce a Fortune 500 company? You see what I'm saying? When is the last time somebody that recreationally used marijuana created a product that's used all across America globally or in all of the Walmarts? When is the last time you saw people at high levels or people that are prospering in life 
use marijuana recreationally. I want you to understand that anything that doesn't produce righteousness, you must be mindful of it and see, hey, possibly this is a trap. Possibly this is the devil setting a snare. There's, there's countless things that you can do recreational that are not going to be harmful to your body, that bring enjoyment, help reduce stress, but recreational drugs, weed ain't one of them. And again, this was not arguing the point of people that use it for medical purposes. If you know deep down inside that you're using it for medical purposes, everybody knows when they have a medical problem and when they're an addict. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight.